But what are some ways they can learn more about their local humane society and support their local humane society? Well, I think uh, a lot. Of, thanks for the opportunity to share this. Um, a lot of people don't realize that uh, uh, they uh, we're not all affiliated. So the Humane Society in Sacramento is not affiliated officially with the Humane Society in, in Toledo, Ohio. Uh, we're all independent organizations. We're all supported by our local community. So uh, clearly, it's very easy to find the local Humane Society in your in your community. And I think that's um, the first first start is get get to their website. Take a look at what they're doing. Check them out. Um, uh, take the opportunity to get involved and um, really see what you can do uh, to make an impact in your local local community. And here in Atlanta, AtlantaHumane.org is our our doorway to everything Atlanta Humane and all the work that we're doing here in 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 Atlanta and in Georgia and in the southeastern U.S. We have a sort of a three pronged uh, approach here. Uh, where we're really trying to serve this entire region uh, on a number of levels. So um, we have lots of ways for people to engage with us uh, on our mission as well. That's great. That's great. Well, um, since this is the Leadership Foundry podcast, I always ask all my guests on the podcast uh, as we're kind of starting to kind of end our time here, is there one good leadership lesson that you could give for us listening here today that would help listeners be better leaders starting tomorrow what's one good practical tip something they could start to do yeah i uh i think one of the big uh opportunities for us as leaders is to um always be open to multiple avenues of achieving an objective uh, mm-hmm. i i think one of the things that we've learned uh, over the years is uh i may i may wake up in the morning with this great idea and come in and i talk to the team and i say hey I get this great idea and then sure enough i have a i have a great team and then they start saying well well what if we did this or what if we tweak that or what if we went a different direction and uh if you try to hold on to your own ideas of how something needs to evolve uh your uh, my experience has been that the outcomes are always less than when you can really uh, collaboratively work on this together and so i th- I think having an openness to saying there there are multiple ways to get where we need to go, and I think w- myself as the, the the leader of the organization, um, <coughs> excuse me, I have to be willing to to listen, mm. willing to uh, be flexible, and and let the the team uh, and in the entire organization sort of help us uh, help me chart the right direction so it's not um you know leaders today are not successful if they're rigid or if they um, maintain a very uh tight level of control it it really is about being a collaborative leader now and i think that's one of the big evolutions in in leadership philosophy i love that i think that's great you were as you were talking it reminded me so there's a martial arts form called aikido and it's it's based out of japan and the, one of the main principles behind Aikido is you don't attack your opponent. You, you redirect their energy. And I, that's totally the image that came to mind as you were talking about it, because we go back to our earlier part of our conversation, you got all these groups have this sense of ownership. So sure. how do you activate that and bring them into the conversation? So at the end of the day, everyone's feeling like it's their idea. Everyone's part of it. And in order to do that, it's more of a leader as facilitator than it is leader as director. Uh, or, or or conductor, you've got to be be able to put out ideas, but be open to other ideas and see what the group yeah. can kind of come up with together. So everyone's bought in, and no one's mad that they're being told to do something they don't want to do. I think that's yeah. I I, I think that's a great analogy, and and the ability to be able to not necessarily have to be the one who gets the credit, uh, to be able to really uh, work in such a way that. Um, the team collective is is the important uh, measurement tool. Not, uh, hey, look at me, I'm so great, and what a great leader I am. Uh, it's really how do we achieve it, you know, collaboratively. 